All right, Kevin, we talked about a lot of stuff last night, but the main thing is I want you to set the angle here, 90 degree angle, create it with the right arm and the club. Once you get to that angle, I want you to practice taking it to the top of your swing, getting your left shoulder underneath your chin. So you set it, left shoulder underneath your chin, all right? All the time trying to keep this pointed at your ball. Keep your belt buckle pointed at your ball. So set your hands, there's your 90 degree angle. Take a top of your swing. Once the left shoulder is underneath your, uh, your chin, your swing is done. You don't need to go anymore. You're gonna be able to hit it. And by holding this angle, the angle that I have here, because there's a 90 degree here, on the way down, there's a 90 degree here. By holding this angle as long as possible, you're gonna build up a lot of inertia and a lot of power, and you're gonna be able to release it by rolling the right forearm over the left. Don't roll the hands, you wanna roll the forearm. So this is a lot of information, but set it, take it to the top, right elbow's tucked, roll the hands over. They're gonna roll over naturally. Or you can hold it off, and you can play a cut shot if that's what you want to do. But everybody tries to strive for that rolling it over. You just want to make sure you roll it over from the inside. Another thing, I talked about getting a weight on the inside of your thigh. What I like to do is I'll take a golf ball, I don't know if you can see this, I'll take a golf ball and I'll put it on the outside of my right heel, and I'll hit balls with that on the right with that on the outside of my right heel, what that's doing, it's putting all the pressure on the inside of my thigh. So when I take the club back here, by having the weight here, it really constricts how far I can go. Oh, boy. 